Good morning. As people of faith, we have to set a good example to those around us, and that means our churches are not only closed for public worship, but also closed completely, including private worship. So I'm inviting you today to join me for this informal morning prayer from my study. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth will proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Have mercy on me, O God, in your great goodness, according to the abundance of your compassion. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sins, for I, for I acknowledge my faults, and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight, so that you are justified in your sentence, and righteous in your judgment. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me joy of your salvation and sustain me with your gracious spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from the guilt, O Lord, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, Set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 54 Behold, God is my helper. Behold, God is my helper. Save me, O God, by your name, and vindicate me by your power. Hear my prayer, O God. Give heed to to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and the ruthless seek after my life. They have not set God before them. Behold, God is my helper. It is the Lord who opposes my life. May evil rebound on those who lie in wait for me. Destroy them in your faithfulness. An offering of a free heart will I give you. And praise your name, O Lord, for it is gracious. For he has delivered me out of my troubles, and my eye has seen the downfall of my enemies. Behold, God is my helper. O living God, reach through the violence of the proud, and the despair of the weak, and create in Jesus Christ a people free to praise your holy name, now and forever. Amen. Help us, O God of our salvation, for the glory of your name. Help us, O God of our salvation, for the glory of your name. O God, the heathen came into your heritage, your holy temple they have defiled. 
and made Jerusalem a heap of stones. The dead bodies of your servants, they were given to be food for the birds of the air, and the flesh of your faithful to the beasts of the field. Their blood they have shed like water on every side of Jerusalem, and there was no one to bury them. We have become the taunt of our neighbours, the scorn and derision of those that are round about us. How long will you be angry forever? How long will your jealous fury blaze like fire? Pour out your wrath upon the nations that have not known you and upon the kingdoms that have not called upon your name. For they have devoured Jacob and lay waste his dwelling place. Remember not against us our former sins. Let your compassion make haste to meet us, for we are brought very low. Help us, O God of our salvation, for the glory of your name. Deliver us and wipe away our sins for your name's sake. Why should the heathen say, Where is now their God? Let vengeance of your servant's blood that is shed be known among the nations in our sight. Let the sorrowful sighing of prisoners come before you and by your mighty arm preserve those who are condemned to die. May the taunts with which our neighbours taunted you, Lord, return sevenfold into their bosom. But we that are your people and the sheep of your pasture will give thanks for ever and tell of your praise from generation to generation. Help us, O God, our salvation, for the glory of your name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 2, verses 23 to the chapter 3, verse 20. After a long time the king of Egypt died. The Israelites groaned under their slavery and cried out. Out of the slavery their cry for help rose up to God. God heard their groaning and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. God looked upon the Israelites and God took notice of them. Moses was keeping the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian. He led his flock beyond the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to them in a flame of fire out of a bush. He looked and the bush was blazing, yet it was not consumed. Then Moses said, I must turn aside and look at this great sight and see why the bush is not burned up. When the Lord saw that he had turned aside to see, God called him out of the bush, Moses, Moses, and he said, Here I am. Then he said, Come no closer, remove the sandals from your feet, for the place on which you are standing is holy ground. He said further, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. Then the Lord said, I have observed the misery of my people who are in Egypt. I have heard their cry on my account of their taskmasters. Indeed, I know their suffering, and I have come down to deliver them from the Egyptians, and to bring them out of the land to a good and broad land, 
a land flowing with milk and honey, to the country of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Pezites, the Hivites and the Jebusites. The cry of the Israelites has come now to me. I have also seen the Egyptians oppress them. So come, I will send you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? He said, I will be with you, and this will be a sign for you that it is I who sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall worship God on this mountain. But Moses said to God, If I come to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your ancestors has sent me to you, and they ask me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. He said further, Thus you shall say to the Israelites, The Lord, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name for ever, and this my title for all generations. Go and assemble the elders of Israel, and say to them, The God, the Lord, the God of our ancestors, Sisters, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, has appeared to me, saying, I have given heed to you, and to what has been done to you in Egypt. I declare that I will bring you out of misery of Egypt, to the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Ammonites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, a land flowing with milk and honey, and they will listen to your voice, and you and the elders of Israel shall go to the king of Egypt and say to them, The Lord, the God of Hebrews, has met with you. Let us now go a three days journey into the wilderness, so that we may sacrifice to the Lord our God. I know, whatever, I know however, that the king of Egypt will not let you go unless compelled by a mighty hand. So I stretch out my hand and strike Egypt with all my wonders that I will perform. After that, he will let you go. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Song of Manasseh Full of compassion and mercy and love, is God the Most High, the Almighty. Full of compassion and mercy and love, is God the Most High, the Almighty. Lord Almighty and God of our ancestors, who made heaven and earth in all their glory, all things tremble with awe at your presence before your great and mighty power. Immeasurable and unsearchable is your promised mercy, for you are God Most High. You are full of compassion, long-suffering and very merciful, and you relent at human suffering. O God, according to your great goodness, you have promised forgiveness for repentance, for those who have sinned against you. The sins I have committed against you are more than the sands of the seas. I am not worthy to look up to the height of heaven because of the multitude of my iniquities. And now I bend the, and now I bend the knee of my heart before you, imploring your kindness upon me. I have sinned, O oh God, I have sinned, and I acknowledge my transgressions. Unworthy as I am, you will save me, according to your great mercy. For all the hosts of heaven sings your name, and your glory is for ever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. Full of compassion and mercy and love is God the Most High, the Almighty. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 9, verses 15 to the end. For this reason he is the mediator of a covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promises, the promised eternal inheritance. Because death has occur occurred that redeems them from the transgressions under the first covenant. Where a will is involved, the death of the one who made it must be established. For a will takes effect only at death, since it is not in force as long as the one who made it is alive. Hence, not even the first covenant was inaugurated without blood. For when every commandment has been told to all, by the, for when the first commandment had been told to all the people by Moses, in accordance with the law, he took the blood of calves and goats, with water and scarlet wool and hyssop, and sprinkled both the scroll itself and the people, saying, This is the blood of the covenant that God has was ordained for you. And in the same way he sprinkled with the blood both the tent and all the vessels used in worship. Indeed, under the law almost everything is purified with blood, and without the shedding of blood there is no forgiveness of sin. Thus it was necessary for the sketches of heavenly things to be purified with these rites. But the heavenly things themselves need better sacrifices than these. For Christ did not enter a sanctuary made by human hands, a mere copy of the true one, but he entered into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. Nor was it to offer himself again and again as a high priest enters a holy place year after year with blood that is not his own. For then he would have had to offer again and again since the foundation of the world. But as it is, he has appeared once for all at the end of the age to remove sin by the sacrifice of himself. And just as it is appointed for mortals to die once, and after that the judgment, so Christ, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to deal with sin, but to save those who are eagerly awaiting for him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O my God, in you I trust. Remember me, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are for everlasting. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Benedictus. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hand of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, 
to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet in the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Now we play for the world. and for all those in need. O oh God, at this time, we pray for the world. We pray for the crisis all peoples and nations are facing because of the pandemic of COVID-19. We pray for those in our own country who are suffering who are ill, who are dying, for whatever reason, we remember those that are affected by this virus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the poor nations of the world. We pray that they may find resources to save their people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders of our own country. We pray for our Prime Minister, for the leaders of churches, for the High Court of Parliament. We pray for all doctors, nurses and medical staff. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the churches, that they may rise to the challenges this virus causes, that they may bring comfort and strength to all people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now in a time of quiet, we pray for those known to us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Collect of the day. Merciful Lord, absolve your people from their offences, that through your bountiful goodness we may be delivered from the chains of those sins which by our frailty we have committed. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our blessed Lord and Saviour, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.